So in this video we're going to have a look at providing our site with some context, buildings particularly. There's a couple of prerequisites to this. Um, you need to have completed the Map3D module and also the Revit site coordination module because you'll need the site coordinates and the GIS data. Once you have that in place though we can use the Autodesk Revit software to um, bring in those, that map data and then use the InMass tool which is in here. If we give it a name what we're able to do with this tool is draw polylines or looped or closed lines if you like which we can do by using simply the pick lines tools and actually trace over the top of our building footprint locations that we see within the GIS if you select that shape and use create form you can see that I'm able to very quickly create basic building shapes We can actually go paint materials onto these as, and if we want to as well using the paint tool within Revit is another optional workflow. But if you look, if I carry on going through that and going through these adjacent buildings that are of concern to me, I can very quickly, this takes about, this whole site took about five minutes, you can see I can quite quickly go and put that building information modeling in place. And this provides you with several advantages, one documentation, but you can also do environmental analysis such as shadowing and so forth. One of the other advantages that you have by setting up that site coordination model and, and putting in these uh, massing, if you do have more detailed models, such as other Revit models, you can use your shared coordinates now to link in that Revit data. If I just use the shared coordinates here and bring that in, it should land in exactly the right place. So not too difficult. I hope this video has been useful in, in terms of setting up a, a quick site model within the Revit software. If you have any questions at all, please do shout.